Um, hi there, people. Uh, this is Roach again after a long time. Uh, I think I might start recording again. Um, why I'm gonna talk about in a separate video uh, that'll come out shortly after this one probably. But for now, just try and live with it. Uh, currently, you can see that Dead Cells is open on my computer, and I think that's the game I'm going to be playing. Um, I have played a little bit of Dead Cells, as you can see it says continue. Um, I played through the first main area, um, and I want to start over for you guys. Um, I will kind of know what's happening, but I kind of want to, you know, for any of you who haven't played the game, um, it would be cool to let you guys see from the start what this game is like. Anyway, um, I will say, however, this game just got into 1.0, its final like big release. Um, I've been playing it since it was in beta, and god damn, this game is fun. So I'm a goo monster. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big nuclear pancake, big radioactive pile of goo. I can't take that axe. Annoyingly enough, got classic attacks. I can go down if you know what I mean. Open doors. You can also, um, I can't, I guess, now. Aren't you the headless fellow that's been getting around? Me? Nah, yeah. Uh, I love this guy. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. No tongue. I, I am a headless fucker, so. It's just strange to be back from the dead. Surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. Eh, that's a good talent. I don't really understand it. But you're the first you're not the first to find yourself in this situation if that's what you want to know. What? <laughs> uh classic Dark Souls strat. Exhaust dialogue. She's just gonna keep saying shouldn't you be on your way, so now we're gonna get started. For you guys who don't know, um you kinda of have two like main options. You can go offensive or um defensive. And I really like the parry system in this game. In the sense that I think it's very easy. Watch, I'm gonna botch every parry I try and do. But, um. It, yeah, the parrying system's really good. I'll maybe do a bow on the second playthrough. So, we're gonna start out in this prison here. Uh, we just pass a teleport gate. Useless to us right now, because there isn't a second one. But we can teleport from a gate to another gate whenever we want. A little bit of that Gungeon strat. Look at that. You can parry back arrows, which is really cool. There's a hit stun mechanic that I'm not really sure how long it takes to proc and why it takes that long. Um, I think some items have better hit stun properties than others. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that. Again, I've only done maybe like 10 runs of this game. And I don't think I've really gotten much, very far on those runs, so... You can reflect back anything, in my no to my knowledge, if it has... A explanation point over it when it's about to do its attack you can parry that enemy which is really cool um, I think that kind of gets rid of some of the stuff in Dark Souls where you have that play that classic game where you're like can I parry this and the answer I found is often no especially in the original game um, not shit talking my favorite game of all time I mean I guess I am but it does kind of suck when you try and parry something and then just get fucking annihilated. So, um, yeah. Uh, why I'm bringing up Dark Souls so much is this game is, by all means, a Souls-like. Um, it's meant to kind of mimic with the dodge rolling, parrying, permadeath style kind of game. Uh, alright, so first chest. Let's see what we got. Boom! Wolf Trap. 40 DPS, 6.5 seconds. You throw two traps at a mobilized enemy. And then there's this weird little tooltip at the bottom that shoots a volley of arrows. 7 damage per arrow. And most things have that. See, that, there are those arrows right there. That's like little blue shits. Um, most abilities have like a special little bonus ability, I guess I would call it. Okay, so this right here um, is... A tickle pod, and I'm not gonna touch the tickle pod right now because <laughs> uh, I don't want this video to be age restricted now, do I? But in reality, um, we can't touch the tickle pod yet. 
we need to go get something from the first main area, and then we can come back and go to a sewer, I think? I haven't actually been there myself. Sounds fucking disgusting. Anyway, what have we got here? So, classic question with all these kind of like story games. Um, what happened here? That's a big one. Ooh. It's new. I'll run it. So I have a throwing knife. I'm some kind of fucking Naruto weeaboo. Um, I will warn you. Um, and you guys might be screaming at me for doing things wrong or not using weapons correctly. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, at all. So, oh, god damn it. I much would have taken that. Much rather would have taken that. My apologies. So this kind of gets like a bleed over time effect going on. It can be used very rapidly, which is cool. Okay, so these guys have a star over them for some reason. I think to imply that they have some kind of special item on them. Now we get to the upgrade section. Um, you can pick different upgrades. Brutality, which is your melee. Tactics, which is your like long-range attacks. And survival, which is your defensive abilities. You can see at the bottom of the screen right there that all the uh, different weapons have different like um, amounts of each color. And that color can change. It's not just... It, doesn't just go as simple as 50% 50% like it is on the trap there. You can get something like like a 20% purple, 80% green weapon from what I've seen. Um, and this pretty much mimics the system of scaling with Dark Souls to my knowledge. Um, as you can see right there, the little up arrow indicates what weapons will be affected. And different uh, stuff has different HP amounts. So survival, so like the tank shield shit, gives me more HP percentage, 60% as you can see there. Tactics, 40% because that's like our long range build. And then for Brutality, if you want to go like Berserker full on, um, it gives you a good 50%. Um, so that's more than the Tactics, but not as much as Survival. Boom. All right, so now we have our first like main weapon, Blueprint at least, which is the Blood Sword, which to my knowledge causes bleeding. No shit. And now there are secrets. Uh, like secret little hidden loot caches. I have not found one yet, meaning I have probably missed at least three because I don't know how to look for them, per se. But maybe one's right here. I don't even know how to activate them. Do you hit them? Do you click B on them? Do you... I don't know, dude. Some kind of Iron Maiden. See, the dangerous thing about getting a new weapon type in this is I always... If I start with a shield and I get a new weapon type... I will try and dodge, or try and parry, my bad. Even though I can't, because I don't have a shield now, and then eat shit. Um, hopefully I'll try to do a little bit less of that in the future. Hey, another upgrade pod over there. Um, when falling, you can hold A again to smash into the ground, and that can insta-kill a lot of enemies in the game, especially these weak little glowing uh, uh, feral ghoul fuckers. These, like, feral ghoul glowing ones. Uh, legendary. Oh, I made that a Fallout 4 reference. That's a little unfortunate. Anyway, so I think as you gain more of the same upgrade, the HP amount gain becomes lower. So I think I'm going to start with tactics now. Just to get my HP up a little bit more. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we just started seeing these shield fuckers. And the shield guys are a bit of a pain. I found their parry timing out of the beginning base enemies to be the hardest to get down. Um, but it's still, like, it's not that bad. Here's Shop Boy. And Shop Boy uh, has items for us that we can't buy because we're poor. What do I need? I need you to sell me something for a cheaper price. He starts getting annoyed with you if you keep talking to him. And it eventually cycles back through. So, like, hey, you're gonna buy something. Now he's calling me an idiot, so, like, fuck you, bud. Um, I think right now, I'm gonna make good use of the uh, teleport system I was telling you guys about earlier to go back here. That's a cool effect. I love that. But I told you I wanted this the duplex bow. Shoots two arrows instead of one. Double the trouble. The gruesome twosome, as I would like to call it. So currently I have, um... Turret. Big fucking bear trap fucker. The gruesome twosome. And sword boy. Uh, a great cast of weapons. All of these have different effects, by the way. 
And I will say right now, because I'm not going to get it, Firebrands, while it looks like a magical spell, is just like you throw Molotovs at people. Um, it's cool, but it's not magic. Now, one thing I've kind of learned, and this is all randomly generated. I will come back to its area a lot because I will die a lot. Hey, Roach, from the future here. Just going to tell you right now, I'm about to get seriously sidetracked. What I was going to tell you is that the position of the shop guy generally indicates where the door to the promenade of the condemned will be. If you pass the shop guy, you're generally on your right way. We're going to go explore a little bit. We're in no rush. Um, we're not going for the time trial doors just yet. We will do that at a later date, though. Huh. What? Oh, so I think those little blue candles indicate when you're coming up on like a lore spot. Um, like the one we're in right now. Um, an order stamp with the king seal. Castang. This is a direct order that must remain between you and me. Ooh, scandalous. Stop checking the prison entrances until further notice. Awesome. That's a little suspicious. Um, this is classic Souls-like storytelling where you try and make the player find out exactly what happened here. This is an empty prison full of infected feral ghouls. Something must have happened. High-ranking prison officer. Hey, money. Did he set aside a few pennies for a rainy day? Indeed he did. Um, we can look at these books. Some books on a shelf. Prison management for dummies. Bridge building from antiquity to present day. Managing soldiers, how to earn their respect without using torture. Managing a prison entrance in 10 easy lessons. Lesson 8 will shock you. That's a video title right there. Um, dude, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd make a prison channel. Prison channel. It's just, we're going to ca call it, um, call it Roaches, Roaches Prisons. Come on by. I'll talk about the top 10 prisons in the world. Um... Subscribe for more prison tips. Prison tips and tricks. See what I'm doing right now? I'm leaving the prison. That's something you shouldn't be able to do in your own prison. Prisoners shouldn't be able to do that. Um, I did it because this prison was poorly designed, but that's just an example. Don't try that at home. We're trained prison professionals here. Now we're meeting big, glowy, edgy boy. Um, I like him. I like him a lot. He's got a big bottle on his back, kind of like Gara from that Nerto show, as they call it. I'm the collector, and I'm at the closest thing you'll find a decent company around here. Bring me the cells you gather from the others. In exchange, I'll procure a few useful little items for you. you sh should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me, and I will introduce you to some more experimental items, if you know what I mean. So, we're going to start with the necessities. Health flask. Boom. We have Estus. Um, which I would argue is pretty much a necessity. Then we can increase our gold reserves, which preserves up to 3,000 of our gold when you die. That's a lot right off the bat from what I've seen. It's a lot to buy like any weapon you want from that starting area, which is really considerate, actually. Or really... Considerate is not the word. Really, um... Uh... Really useful, really uh, nice. So this is something that's a little bit interesting. Um, I'm going to talk to him. I'm really happy I found this great stinking pile of corpses. Yeah, me too, but... So mutations are a necessity in this. Normally in these games, mutations are um, an optional thing. Oh, one thing I did not show you, uh, coming back to this. I'm all over the place right now. I apologize. But if you have any cells left upon trying to leave this area, this door will be closed. You need to use all your cells before progressing. Um, and cells are those little blue fuckers in the bottom right. That's what allows me to get my upgrades. Anyway, um, same goes with mutations. I cannot open that door for the life of me. Now we're going to check out that pile of corpses in a second, but we're going to pick a mutation. Um, I really like combo. Um... For sure, Dead Inside seems to just be kind of like, okay. Necromancy seems to be interesting. I think I'm going to go with Combo right off the bat. He offs in his little bag. What a cutie. You can imagine all the stuff you can find in here. Yeah. Funny, they look a little like me. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate, bud. 
So here's our big embryo. And we're gonna milk this embryo. Yeah. That's a sweet, sweet embryo milk. Um That's the edgy, edgy backstory of this of this um edgy indie game backstory of this game. It's about it's about abortion. How long has the video been going? A few minutes, and I've already started talking about abortion. Anyway, welcome to the Promenade of the Condemned. This is an interesting place, full of purple. Um, purple indeed, my friends. Recording's doing just fine. We got crows, we got doors, we got... What more could you possibly want? Now, there's a secret up here. I know this because this is the first thing I did when I entered this area. Assassin's Daggers. So, that's interesting, is you don't seem to take fall damage, but you do get stunned if you fall from a decent height. So, here's a big question. What happened here? There are these, like, cages and chains hung from the walls and the trees, and it's very unnatural. Alright, next up. I think I'm gonna have to go for a little bit more damage with my main boy. And head on down here. So this is what I was talking about when I said time trial doors. It was sealed four minutes ago. And I have not made it through this, and I think I might do it in a separate video. But... Something's back here, and if you haul ass through the beginning section of the game, and the timer is just above the mini-map on the right, it will allow you to pass through that door and get untold loots and riches. In theory. So, my theory about the colors of the bottom left items seems to maybe be incorrect, seeing as I have taken more purple power-ups than green power-ups, and now the purple-green power-up of the uh, purple-green ability of the tr Hunter's Trap seems to have changed to mimic that. Look at that. Throw that little thing down. Alright, let's see what this double bow can do. The gruesome twosome. Whew! So those guys teleport. Good to know. Not if you do that to them, though. I'll tell you that much. And this combo, uh, bonus damage, isn't bad. They also do a considerable amount of damage. That was like 30 right off the top right there. Alright, here we go. So, how's this looking so far? I may maybe done 10 runs of this game, and... This is one of the better ones I've had, for sure. Um... There was a... I can check out the map. Back and while those locked doors are, I have no idea how to access that. I've never been able to access that, even on the one I did play. Same with this. This is just a big, vibrating stick, for all I know. I can't do anything to it. Maybe we'll get an ability that lets us do something with it later in the game. I don't know. For what I know, though, it isn't here. Anyway, we have spikes, and we can't Hollow Knight the spikes, which is a little bit irritating. Um, so, when you fall on those spikes, they hurt like a bitch. Wouldn't recommend it. What do we got here? So something just happened down there. Oh, that was a portal. Okay. More of these teleport boys. Okay, that was, that was a lot of damage. So, what we see here is a classic example of buff boys, and buff boys are irritating, but they exist. That little training dummy will, for what I've seen, it only has one variation of buff, and that's that it makes fuckers invincible. Um, but there could be more. So, one thing I've noticed also about the bows now that I mention it, is if I shoot once, twice, three times, that third volley of arrows is red, and they do more damage. I think that's to help out, like, a ranged base playthrough. Like, an entirely ranged base playthrough. Boom. There we go. Taking care of business. But right now, two bolts is enough to take down the smaller guys, and that's really what I'm going to be using this for. Can't jump up there. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. 
Oh, dang it. You do kind of have a little bit of an air hover system in place for when you uh, use a range weapon in the air. It's nothing too crazy. It's not going to let you cheese things. It's not like the um, Salt and Sanctuary. They're fantastic souls-like, might I add. Where when you cast a spell, you just literally freeze midair when you're in the air. It is enough, though. Um... Ow. Okay, so that's that's going to be a problem. And this is a problem I'm going to solve by chugging my baby flask. Yeah, baby. There we go. So, baby flask has been chugged. One other thing that's here is that Rose. Don't know what to do with that. Um, you can't wall jump, to my knowledge. Maybe one day, but not today. Spikes. Spikes are fun. Avoid them. Okay, okay. So the bows seem to not really have all too much hit stun, which is irritating. So you kind of really got to take it at a distance. And I know I'm not using my RT and LT abilities. They, um, I got too good to use Syndrome at the ass right now. I'm working on it. But this right here, I don't know how to get down. Maybe it's like that thing in Super Mario 64 where you need Wario's... New Super Mario 64 where you need those um, Wario's fat ass to break that iron thing or something. Um, I need to get a fatter ass so I can pass through there. But I don't know, dude. This guy, my boy right here, not exactly a cart-carrying member of the Thick Boy Club. Um, we'll work on that. There's some stuff down there. I can see that much. So here's a Guardian Scroll. Gives me a few less options. Um, now, I don't have a lot of green stuff, but the 60% HP sounds really good right around now. So I'm going to take that. Boom! Sniped out of the air. So here's our first kebab, and the kebab um, lets you use your, uh, lets you get your HP back. Now, have you guys never noticed that kebab looks specifically like baby? I'm telling you, dude, the symbolism is there in this game. It's just like really edgy, really well hidden, hidden, hidden best lore. I'm gonna make my new video on top ten lore. Top 10 lords. <laughs> Top 10 lords. Um. Okay. There we go. That's taken care of. There we go. So we can't do that, unfortunately. Um, gold seems to have really good tracking in this, really good character tracking. They don't make you get, like, gold magnet as an upgrade, which I kind of like that they give you that right off the bat. <sighs> that was a room, huh? One heck of an encounter. Alright, I'm pretty sure this isn't the actual way we're supposed to... Yeah, here we go. Hey, bud. How you doing? Some expensive stuff at this shop. I like electric whip. I've never gotten that. And another duplex bow, but I think this duplex bow is better than my own. You can see there's a three by it. Well, I'm not going to go back over there, but you could see that, um, believe me. And uh, that dictates, like, so you always should probably check. Some, if you have the same weapon, but you could come across the same one and have it be infinitely better and then not pick it up and be unfortunate. All right, so here we have another lore segment. Let's see what happens. Been abandoned here for some time. Yeah, nice abandoned drumstick, dude. Nice and abandoned. Tastes like um, mildew and dust. Hey, you there. Oh, it's you. He knows me. Looks like I'm on the right side of the door for once. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn, they didn't mess around. Uh, who? Hey! No answer. And that'll be the case for... Unless there's, like, some meme where you have to hit it a hundred times and then something happens. Nothing happens there. I've come across an encounter before. I think I even came across it in the prison area. Um, no idea. What's that there? What he's talking about, even. I'm dumb. Forgot about this. Look at that. 
At least I remembered before I went all the way up, right? More of those Executioner's Axes up top here seem to have some kind of significance. And here we have a Tickle Pile. Tickle Puddle. Tickle Pod, as I called it earlier. It just makes weird, gross goo noises. But I think we're about to get what we need to progress. Cross the White Fog. Perfect. Okay. See, we can't get up without a Tickle Puddle. Without a Tickle Pod... Tickling hand, tickle pod brand, tickling hand. So we're gonna have to get one here. And here we fight a legendary elite boy. And he summons like little boys. There we go, and he drops a hell of a lot of cells. Picking up an unknown artifact. Boom, we got our first brand. The vine rune. This permanent rune causes climbing vines to grow. All right. So let's get some tickling done, huh? There we go. The sound of progress. All right, so we're going to head up here. I don't think there's any use going back. I don't think we can access that back area again, the uh, little, like, resting zone. But I have a lot of cells. And I will tell you right now, if I die, I will lose all of them. Here we go. Balance Blade Mark II. Carefully balanced for rapid attack with sequences. More DPS. Victims burn. Better than my rusty sword in every way. I'm going to take that over whatever the fuck the other one is any day. Oh, that's fast. I like that. Okay, another one of these lore boys. Check out the statue. Kind of looks like um, a Florin from um, uh, Starbound. A statue of the king of the island. So I'm on an island. How could he see anything with that helmet on? It's actually, how could he see anything with that helmet on? Is that it, really? No loot? Sometimes these lore areas have loot. So now we have the second trial. Which I think I'm going to have to get through a big, stupid parkour section if I want to make it to the next checkpoint with all the, the sweet, sweet cells I have captured in my journeys. There we go. So one interesting thing is you can break open the doors when you're near an enemy to get a pretty decent period of hits done on them. Okay, try hard mode. Because I have to make it out of here alive. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint area coming up. So we're going to do a meme real quick. Because I have a lot of cells on me. I don't want to lose them. Open this door right here. Head up this door right here, and the ramparts. So we're going to come back. We're definitely going to be back in the promenade later, and we're going to check out that whole parkour section. But for now, I got a lot of stuff. I want to use it. And this video is getting a little long, so I'm probably going to cut it right around here. Hey, look who's here. You're right. It's me. Your boy. So we're going to talk about the upgrading real quick. Um, and you kind of have a few options for upgrades. You can pick to start with a different one of your starting weapons um, of various types. And you can also unlock new weapons right here. I'm going to do that first. Get a blood sword. And this now blood sword is now in the drop pool. So I will start seeing this in missions, etc. Transforms items on the ground or in treasure into gold. Interesting. I think I'm going to start off with maybe getting a new random starting shield. Because that will give me a good shield right off the bat. And here we go. Blood Sword Mark III. Better than what I got. Oh, that's cool. I love that little red effect there. Hey, all right, here we are. We're back. Starting with Necromancy, because that's the other one I was tempted to get. And we get another mutation. Nice. Fill our baby flask. And, you know... I think we're going to call this video here. Um, 
if you guys are enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed Dead Cells, I'm loving this game so far. Um, we are now at the point of, for the next video, we are going to be at the point of, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I don't know what's going on, where am I, where I have never passed through it once in my life. Um, after finishing that first area, I decided, man, I need to do a series on this, and here I am doing one. Um, I'll try and get a video up pretty soon. Yeah. You guys have a good day. See you around.